Well, Eric, the state of the art in spring training facilities is the $72 million JetBlue Stadium where the Red Sox train here in Fort Myers, Florida, where we were earlier this morning. But what's even more amazing is it was built just 20 years after the city lured the Red Sox here by building them another park, $24 million City of Palms. Unfortunately, that stadium today sits empty, although the county pays more than a million dollars a year to keep it in pristine condition just in case another team wants to move in. In the last 10 years, there's been a lot of upgrades and a lot of uh, growth in baseball, and it, it would have been very costly to bring this stadium up to that level, uh, whereas uh, we had the ability through tourist tax dollars to build a new facility and, and keep the, the Red Sox here for an additional 30 years. For City of Palms, though, so far, no takers. The Washington Nationals wanted to come, but they wanted $36 million in renovation. The county had to refuse because it spent $69 million on yet a third stadium, Hammond Stadium, for the Minnesota Twins, where we are now. Same deal. The county paid for everything and gets almost nothing in return in terms of revenues. And same deal as the Twins, as the Red Sox get, the twins get. So they're, they're getting $46 million in upgrades to this facility. Over the course of the next 30 years, taxpayers here in Lee County are going to have to pay off almost $500 million in bonds. The trick is, county officials say, that most of those taxpayers come from out of state. These are visitors' tax dollars, so they're tourist taxes that are, that are being spent on these facilities. So we're enhancing facilities with tourism dollars to then increase and ensure future tourism through that same activity. Well, now, if the indeed baseball spring training generates $47 million in economic activity for this county, which is what officials here say and economists are a little skeptical, that's only one tenth of one percent of the area's overall GDP. And the tourism director, Tamara Pigott, told us that most people come here for the beaches, not for baseball. As a matter of fact, 279,000 people attended baseball games out of five million visitors to Fort Myers. So economists will say that's an awful lot of money to spend for a very small amount of stimulus, Eric. Mike, you know, we, we have debated this, this argument time and again, whether public tax dollars contributed to things like stadiums and stadium parking lots ever pay off. When you say economists are skeptical, just how skeptical are they? Well, there isn't anyone in the academic world who has done a study on this who agrees that you should subsidize sports teams. Basically, what you're doing is taking money from one area and spending it on sports, and people who would spend money doing other things just spend that money on the sports activity so you don't create any new money. The argument here in Florida is it brings people from out of state, and that is new money, but it's a cost-benefit analysis. The taxes you raise to pay for these facilities can't be used for something else. So they economists still don't see a tremendous value in it.